Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another brand new release on a Wednesday. Hump day! 2022 Panini Donruss Football 6 box random team break number one um, from a fresh 18 box case. So it's a third of a case. All teams are in all card ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And there are the NFL teams right here. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a five, nine times each. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> And ninth and final time. <laughs> All right, Nicholas, you got my Raiders. Angel with the Titans and the Niners. Logan with the Vikings. Nick with the Cardinals. Brandon with the Cowboys. Nick with the Saints. Tristan with the Jets. Christopher with the Rams. Walter with the Panthers. Tristan with the Browns. Josh with the Packers. Tristan with the Dolphins. Josh. Bengals, Joel with the Commanders, Colin with the Buccaneers, Josh with the Patriots, Robert with the Eagles, Colin with the Lions, Lee, Last Spot Mojo, Falcons, Carlos with the Texans, Travis with the Jaguars, Aaron with the New York Football Giants, Angel with the Bills, Tristan with the Chargers, Travis with the Colts, Kevin with the Steelers, Angel with the Chiefs, Josh Smith with the Bears, Christopher with the Seahawks, Lee with the Broncos, and Christopher with the Baltimore Ravens. Let's alphabetize by team. We will open a little trade window, so feel free to trade if you'd like. Uh, we're going to pause the video. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here in this football break here on Wednesday the 15th. Thanks, everyone, for getting in on the action. I appreciate it. I guess I could turn my top camera back this way because we're not going to have any pack stacking help anymore the rest of the evening. It's just Joe Solo. Here's the case of Donruss football. It's an 18 box case. So let's pop this open. Let's see which third we're going to do. I guess I'll use this staging area here. Alright, so we'll roll the die. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Two. One, two. The first column right there. The other two, we got another third coming up a little bit later tonight. And then the final third is uh, is in the store right now, jaspiescasebreaks.com. All right, good luck, everyone. So Donner's football, one autograph and one memorabilia card per box on average. We're looking for Super Bowl downtown, night moves, and more. All card ship, all teams are in. Good luck, everybody. room here. Well, the NFL season is kind of over. Sad times. But a new season is ahead of us and we've got the draft to look forward to. Any news happening? The Chiefs had their parade earlier today. The Bears purchased a 326-acre Arlington Park property. They're building a new stadium. 
we're going to move away from Soldier Field. Your name wasn't assigned to a team. You have the order number for the break. What what break? This yeah, this is break one. You might be in break two. Double check your order. The title of the break will be in your invoice, your order confirmation, and you'll see the number. This is random team one. If you look at the schedule, that's linked in the chat. Thanks, Nightbot. Right on cue. You can see when your break is coming up. Alright, we're going to lead off with Malik Willis. Rated rookie card for the Titans. On hell with the Titans. Got a Trey McBride press proof red. We got some no names right here. Romeo Dobbs, George Pickens rated rookie. And we got a Jerry Judy, 59 out of 100 franchise futures. That'll be for Denver, that'll be for the league. Oh, it sounds fast. Got Garrett Wilson. And a downtown Micah Parsons. Nice. That's what downtown Dallas looks like, in case you've never been. Brendan with the Dallas Cowboys. Nice. Love these downtown cars. They look really sharp. See you, Joe. All right. See you, Michael. Thanks for your help. Got Debo. And we got a All Pro Kings, Nick Chubb. 207 out of 299. Cleveland, this is for you. Tristan with the Cleveland Browns. Got Antonio Gates. <laughs> Damian Pierce. late for these kid reporter cards. Mm, and a redemption. Any guesses on that autograph for bragging rights? Logan's thinking Justin Jefferson. Let's see. It's going to be It's going to be Gabriel Davis Elite Series autograph for the Bills on hell with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! All right, next box. 
<laughs> there you go. Rex guessing Gabriel Davis. Nailed it. Nailed it, Rex. Nice one. Where does Derek Carr end up, ladies and gentlemen? The Raiders released him just a couple days ago. Yesterday? Yesterday. Today was the deadline. The 15th. If they kept him, they would have been on the hook for, I don't know, 30-some-odd million dollar contract and a... And then a $40 million cap hit or something like that. Now the cap hit is like less than $10 million. So I'm going to save some money. They're going to move on. But where does Derek Carr move on to? Pretty solid quarterback. Very durable. I think he's only missed a couple of games due to injuries over the years. And a lot of teams could use a quarterback. Uh, I don't think so. I think downtowns are just considered, are just considered uh, short prints. Not necessarily case hits. All right, next box. Delara thinking Saints. Derek Carr. They they did. He did meet with the Saints a couple times. Maybe the Jets, card of the Jets. There's Garrett Wilson, your uh, offensive rookie of the year for the speaking of the Jets. Yeah, I feel like Jets feel like they're just a quarterback away. There's Jamar Chase to 100, franchise future for the Bengals. Josh. Colts maybe? Another redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? I feel like the Colts have like I feel like the Colts have tried getting that vet quarterback. You know, they're like they, they tried with uh with Carson Wentz and they tried again with Matt Ryan and I feel like it just hasn't worked out for them. So um Maybe, I mean, with their draft pick, maybe they're just going to draft a QB instead. There's a nice, the rookies, Kenny Pickett, Steelers, that's Kevin. Then we've got an all pro Kings, Justin Tucker. 18 out of 349. Gabe's also thinking Saints, Saints most, most convincing. All yeah. right. Saints head coach Dennis Allen was a former former head coach of the Raiders and did coach Derek Carr. So there's a, a little relationship there. Right. There is a... If you look at Derek Carr's cold weather record, it's... There he is right there. It's not very good. He says he doesn't have a problem with it, but the numbers show otherwise. So Jets might not be the place. So maybe maybe the Saints in a dome. That might be more that might be more speed. There's Mika Fitzpatrick, and that's to 10. Nice. I thought I saw another rated rookie Kenny Pickett here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There's rated rookie Kenny Pickett. Yeah, I feel like more uh, more than one person has brought up that rumor, Delara, that, that Justin Fields is on the trading block. Rex says Justin Fields is not going to be traded. Rex apparently has inside scoop. Oh, the front office said they already won't be trading? But this this is the time of year, Rex, where where front offices 
will blatantly lie to you. Because why would they say they're going to trade him? Then they would lose any and all leverage if they really were going to trade them. It's a more that it's a canvas finish on that Kenny Pickett. You can see a little hollow right there as well. But I feel like there's even fans advocating for the trade of Justin Fields. Maybe, maybe that's not as crazy as it may seem. Maybe, maybe the Bears trade Justin Fields, use the number one overall pick to get the court a new quarterback of the future. And get ready for that brand new stadium. They just purchased during 26 acres. We got Sam Howell. Rated rookie autograph Sam Howell. And he is a uh, commander. In fact, I feel like now that I think now that I think about this, I think Ron Rivera, at least for now, stating that Sam Howell is QB1. Well, maybe they're not on the search for a quarterback. All right, another box. The office, the front office, supposedly told him in person over a month ago they were gonna. Yeah, but again, Rex, this is a ruthless business. They can tell one thing to you right to your face, but if they get blown away by an offer or a deal, they're making that trade. They're doing it. And leading up to the draft, you don't want to show your hand. You don't want to reveal anything that you're going to be doing transaction-wise just to maintain as much leverage as possible. So... Mike's asking, uh, objectively, do QBs in the draft seem better than, than Fields, or is it that the QB in the draft... Is, I think there's a bright and shiny aspect to it, yeah. I mean, you already know what you have in Justin Fields. But, but sky's the limit for the draft, for the quarterback in the draft. Thanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're, you're out tomorrow. I'll see you next week, Evan. Yeah, what's, what's going on in Chicago? It just seems like both the Bears and the Cubs seem to be seem to, seem to be known for making some poor decisions. But yeah, this is the time of year where you can't believe anything a front office says especially leading up to the draft. It's like the baseball offseason. All right, next box. Thanks everyone for getting in, for making this happen. Got another six boxer coming up a little bit later tonight. Scott Hansen. We'll randomize this and other non, non team cards to one person in the break. There's Cameron Brait, 15 out of 75, die cut. That'll be for the Buccaneers. Colin. Buccaneers? Another redemption. Buccaneers looking for a quarterback, or are they going to go with Kyle Trask? Or do they, do they maybe go with Derek Carr? That's, that's another warm weather option for Derek Carr. A lot of weapons built in there already. There's Ricky Waters passing the Eli Mitchell, Ricky Waters passing the torch duel relic. 170 out of 199. Niners. That'll be for Angel. Tom Brady, apparently, he's not going to be in the broadcasting booth until, not this season, but next season, 2024. 
So this 2023 season, I'll just be taking it easy. There's another Kenny Pickett for the Steelers. Another one for Kevin. Kevin with Kenny. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, th that would be a likely scenario. Derek Carr goes to the Raiders. Raiders somehow make it to the Super Bowl, but they lose to Derek Carr. That'd be hilarious. I mean, just like just like that John Gruden trade in the early 2000s. I could see it happening. Fans of the game, Dale Earnhardt Jr. So one, he's a fan of the Washington football team, the Commanders. I'm gonna be like a thought he thought, thought Junior would be like a fan of Carolina. Panthers. Is he from North Carolina? Yeah, Rex, I, I mentioned that just earlier in this break. You must have missed me saying that. Yeah, they purchased 326 acres in Arlington Park. I mean, kind of crazy that they're I thought they'd be one of the teams that would never leave like their their original stadium. All right, redemption, Jermaine Johnson the second. I'll I'll be honest with you, I have no inkling of where where he goes. He is a he is a Jet. That's going to go to Tristan and the Jets. Defensive end for the Jets. All right, we're halfway through this break, so we've got about another 20 minutes to go. All right, so I think my time inkling was right. Logan says there's only two super short print inserts per case. So maybe we still have a shot at a Super Bowl downtown card. Right. According to uh, Courtney Cronin, an ESPN staff writer, the Chicago Bears took another step towards leaving Soldier Field on Wednesday today when the team announced its base. It has officially closed on its purchase of the 326-acre Arlington Park property. Yeah, they were rumored to be looking in that area. Now it's, the deal is done. It's the latest milestone for the Bears was delivered in an open letter from the team's Twitter account. The Bears again stated that closing... That closing on the $197.2 million purchase does not guarantee the development of the team's plan for a dome stadium. Interesting. Finalizing the purchase does not guarantee the land will be developed, but it is an important next step in our ongoing evaluation of the opportunity, the statement read. You have to do like environmental impact reports, like you know, you got to get local city governments to figure stuff out there. And, Financing, county financing, blah, 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 blah. City of Chicago has made several attempts to uh, keep the Bears at Soldier Field, where the team has played for the past 50 years, including its latest proposal to put a roof over the 61,500-seat stadium. Yeah, that's got I me mean, to feel like... Are there not very many sacred stadiums? And I, f I feel like Soldier Field and and Lambeau are kind of the two sacred stadiums of uh, of of the NFL. But I suppose I suppose not. There's Matt Corral, rated rookie autograph for Carolina. It'll be for Walter and the Panthers. Uh, not numbered, Walter. Sam Howell. Jalen Waddle, Jalen Waddle. Dominators, Miles Garrett. And Canton Kings, Ladanian Tomlinson, 18 out of 199 LT. Right, could Carolina be in on the Derek Carr sweepstakes? 
Chargers. That'll be for Tristan and the Chargers. And here's an Elite Series Malik Willis for Angel and the Titans. Mark Wahlberg, fan of the Patriots, of course. Jahan Dotson. And Travis Kelsey, 4 out of 25. Die cut. Super Bowl champ. It's going to go to Angel and the Chiefs. Got a Travis Jones, 27 out of 50, and a Joe Mixon. Travis Jones for the Ravens, that'll go to Christopher. And Derek Carr. It would kind of look weird in a Carolina uniform. There's Canvas Kenny Pickett. Another one for the Steelers, that'll be for Kevin. Can't fool me, Panini. We already pulled the autograph. Can't flip these around and trick me. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> that, that idiot brother of his. Uh, I saw a video of him, like while his brother was being interviewed on on at the desk, post game interview, and he's behind his brother doing some silly TikTok dance. I mean, like, what are you doing? <laughs> And honestly, I have nothing against you creating your TikTok content. That's fine. But like, here's a AJ Terrell at 75. And your brother just won Super Bowl being interviewed. Like, like give him a second. <laughs> you know, give 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 him a moment. Yeah, TikTok boy. Did you see that video of him like like dancing in the background of, of his brother's interview? It's just like, man. Oh, you're talking about Jackson Holmes? Uh, Jackson Holmes. Oh, there, there was also Juju Smith Schuster, too. Yeah, I don't know. Talking a lot of trash. I feel like, for, okay, let's just say if that was your for, brother, right? Like that. Like, do, do you think at that point you get kind of annoyed of it? Yeah, but he's your brother. Have you, I, I, never, <laughs> I never knew what Mahomes' dad looked like or even like sounded like, but. I would assume that I don't even know if his relationship is good with his other son because <laughs> he's just like a totally different person. Yeah. <laughs> he's like nowhere near like a normal like I don't know. I feel like Jackson yeah, Mahomes is, is is pretty is pretty obnoxious. Nick, this is break one. If you look at the schedule linked in the chat by Nightbot, and I'll, I'll link it too. And you can always see which break we're doing and which breaks coming up and what we've done, what we're going to do, what we're doing. Very helpful resource. You can even you can even bookmark that. You can view that when we're off air as well. Sometimes we'll post some information there when we're off air. Yeah, is this, I, I don't know much about Patrick Mahomes' wife. Is she obnoxious? Oh, wasn't she the one that was like throwing like beer at fans when, when she was in the... Or like spraying champagne down at like opposing fans or something like that. That's not a good look. Don't do that. Is that her? Rex is asking Joe, did you know French fries did not come fro from France? France? Yeah. Are you you're joking, right, Rex? Got 
Jeremy Rucker, 78 out of 89. Guess that happens, you know. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of you have friends who who's really awesome, but their uh, their spouse is really awful. But like your friend is like awesome, it's like. Press proof Tom Brady to 50. Josh, what's going on? Yeah, there's been some nice hits. I'm going to do a recap at the end after that last box, so you'll you'll see just what we got. There's Jeremy Rucker to 50. Yeah, are people still doing the Freedom Fries thing? Yeah, that that that, that feels like one of those uh, one of those post nine eleven sort of things that restaurants did. I didn't know that was still a thing. I mean, just call them fries at that point. Why, why even put French in front of it? And I mean, everyone knows that they're not from not from France anyway. Reach for the sky. There's Sky Moore caught a touchdown. You know who, uh, you know who played a anytime touchdown prop for Sky Moore? Not me. <laughs> I should have though. There's Ahmad Sauce Gardner, your defensive rookie of the year, and his autograph, Tristan, in the Jets. It would be interesting if during the break you could trade all the field cards for another team for a particular player. If there were player trades in the middle of this break, the you know who shoots down that idea really quick? The sorting and shipping team would hate that. You'd be you'd be not make you'd be not you'll not be uh, making any friends here at work if you were here, Mike Tower. And Jersey King Zach Wilson, ninety nine out of three ninety nine. Is he pretty much out as QB? Seems like they're going to at least bring in some kind of competition. That'll be for Tristan and the gym. I mean, this guy. Although, yeah, it is cold weather, so then maybe not. Last box coming up. And I think, I believe Jason Jaspi on Instagram should have, uh, should have some Donruss football. If you want to get into that. Another third of the case is coming up a little bit later tonight. Check the schedule. Okay, hope so. Yeah, you know, a lot of Raiders fans were like, "Oh, we gotta, we gotta trade up in the draft from the seventh pick, get a QB, blah 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 blah," but. I don't know how many how many QBs in the last like I don't know how many QBs in like the last five years drafted in the top five. How how many of them have been successful? Maybe I'm missing some obvious ones. I guess Trevor Lawrence looked good last year. You should come visit Mike Tower. Oh, which is a hop, skip, and a jump north of uh, Huntington Beach.
Uh, Kyle, okay, Kyler. Baker, no. I mean, I feel like you kind of still have to be on your original team, right? Or at least a, a, a starter nowadays, which he, which he is not. But like, Justin Herbert wasn't drafted in the top five, nor was Patrick Holmes was not. It's Christian Kirksey for Houston. It's for Carlos. So then there's Kobe Bryant, Seattle Seahawk Kobe Bryant. Kobe with a C. Rated rookie autograph for Seattle. It's going to be for Christopher. I guess Baker did collect, take them to the playoffs. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, right, was not a... Was not a top five pick. Or was Joe Burrow picked? Was he a number one, number two, number one, number two? I'm blanking on where Joe Burrow was picked. There's too many, too many names, too many numbers. I can't remember those all. Someone will let me know in the chat. Trey Lance, Steve Young, passing the torch, maybe. 13 out of 199. Second, first, Joe Burrow, first overall. Okay, so there's another example. So Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, Kyler Murray. But, I mean, there's a lot of other quarterbacks picked in the top five of the... AJ Dillon press proof for the Packers. It's for Josh Smith. I mean, think what what year was that? What was what year was that? Uh, what year was that? Jameis Winston Mariota year. They went one and two. I mean. It's a crapshoot, right? A quarter, getting a quarterback in the top five. And there just really are just so few. Just like, I mean, maybe that list goes back even further, right? So uh, when, when Raiders fans, when my fellow Raiders fans, we got to trade up. I'm like, oh, do we have to trade up? Because, you know, you can get a guy like this. Brock Purdy, rated rookie for Angel and the Niners. This guy was Mr. Irrelevant. So I feel like the, the, there's no... Right, and the Bears traded up for this guy. You know, so I feel like shouldn't be as hurt. If a quarterback falls to you, then then, then you, you you know then if then you, you know you take best available, I guess. But Raiders have so many other holes on that team to 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 fill that I don't think they. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm of the get Jared Stidham, keep Jared Stidham, right? Keep Jared Stidham. Draft a quarterback in later rounds. And then just build up the rest of the team and use your free the big cap space, big free agent money to uh, to try to uh, you know get some other stars on the defense side of the roster and the offensive line. Uh, fans of the game, Scott Hansen, the, not assigned to any team, just has the NFL shield on there. Name on top gets that card and any related cards like that. One in a five, six times. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth and final time, that's going to go to Joel. Joel, you'll get that uh, fan of the game card. And if I, if there were, I don't think there was, but if there are any other cards without a team associated to it, right, you'll get those as well. Quick little recap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Donner's football, nice friendly price point, a lot of fun cards, a lot of fun relics here. And... Downtown chasing. There's a downtown Michael Parsons Cowboys. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you a little bit later tonight for the next third. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.